Good morning, good morning, good morning. One more time. A scripture today's reading coming from Proverbs 18. Verse 21. Proverbs 18, 21. First half of the scripture. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So, that right there is, is kind of basically to me self explanatory. If you, if, like, it's like, if you um, say all the time, I know I'm. I know I'm gonna be dead by the age of thirty. And you've been saying it repetitively, repetitively. And then it, it will happen. It can't happen. It can't happen. Uh, or or there are other ways that you may speak about death. Um, it can also mean like. The death of your situation, the death of your the things that you have in life, the death of all the life, you know, death and life, you know. It's all about a lot of time. It's this tongue, you know, I was talking about the other, the other day. This tongue is the smallest member on our body, but it is the most deadly, the most um, powerful, you know. So, yeah, um, I say death and life were in the power of the tongue. So, like a lot of times, I heard the uh, older generation tell us, you know, when you do, do, like when you get up in the morning, when you got kids and now, you go speak life over your kids. You go, you know, for those that believe, you go, um, um, you go in that room, and, you know, and just, um, speak life over them in that situation, and you know, um, be like, today's gonna be a great day. You know, a lot, a lot of time when you begin a day off like that, you do, it do, it does happen. You end up having a great day, or, you know, just, like, like I said, today will be a great day, or, um, you know, your, your day can be full of doom or and doom and gloom, but, um, yeah, that's what I, that's what I, it means. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. You can speak things into existence. You can speak, you know, what, what all, what all is going to happen or what not. I mean, and when you believe that, when you know that to be true, I remember I used to tell my son all the time, just say this, uh, you know, I used to pray over him before he go to school. Today will be a good, great day, you know, what have you. And he'll just go on his way. And, you know, there were times when I, I was like, when I thought we were in a down situation, and I began to speak life into um, our situation, the matter that we were going through, and dealing with the school, and you know, I just began to speak life into that situation, and it turned out very good, man. It turned out very good, you know. I just and I, I wouldn't know what I know. Had I not come over on the Lord's side, had I not come over here on the Lord's side, I wouldn't know half of what I know. But I know this because I came over on his, on his side, and he and his word states that he he would not have us to be ignorant. So he's gonna tell us he's going to inform us of many things. It's just that people don't want to believe it. And when people don't want to believe it, they don't want you to believe it. But, uh, but living for God is a choice. Your choice is not to. My choice is to. 
So don't hate on me because I choose to serve I choose to listen to I choose to, you know, it's my choice. Like I said, God ain't going to make you just like he ain't going to make me. But he ain't going to make me because I'm willing to um, live for him. I'm willing because I believe him. I know his word is true. And I believe him for, for everything that he has said. I believe it all. I believe it all. So therefore, you know. Just learn to speak life over your children, um, over your life, over your children, circumstances, or whatever. And teach them. This is Sharita, Proverbs 18, 21. Have a great one.